Hello everyone, Angry Foncho here, and we're back playing Earthbound. Alright, so we are going to take on uh, these three attack slugs here. I think that this is going to be the last fight that we need to do before we can level up to level 12. And then we're going to, you know, proceed through the game. There's enough screwing around on that for me. One at, whatever it is. Alright. How much did we get? 81. Oh, come on, that's not enough. Are you serious? There's one more dude down here. Let's we'll take him on. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I walked right through him. Yeah, he's running away, of course. Oh, how many do we have here? Five? No, just three. Oh, crap. I'm actually doing taking hits here. I need to go ahead and kill these guys. That way I can heal into the fight. Anyway, 65 damage, whatever, to each of these. That'll take him out, and that'll get us to level 12. Alright. Hmm, look at this stuff. Nice, nice. Guts goes up. IQ. Luck. Maximum HP up by 2, PP up by 8, okay, cool. Man, I got... Crap, that's not actually as good as I've done in the past. I got a... I ended up getting a level up the last time... I, this is the second time trying to record this, because all of a sudden the emulator just crashed. But the first time, I got a level up where vitality increased by 3. And I got 40 health points out of it. I was like, oh my god. I wish I could have gotten a level up like that again, that would have been awesome. I'm going to make this next part really easy. Ugh, anyway. So yeah, how's everybody doing this afternoon? Today is Wednesday, December 1st, 2010. And I'm a little bit stressed out. Just a little bit. Because I have to go and ask my uh, advisor and my mentor to write me letters of recommendation. And it's kind of, uh, I don't know, it'd be tough sometimes to ask people to do favors for you. Never really been a big fan of that sort of thing never been comfortable with asking pe asking people to do stuff for me. Just, I don't know. Anyway, yeah, you talk to this lady in the library and she gives us the town map. It's pretty neat. If you're reading the text there, she sees she just, like, destroys the fourth wall with her fists of anger. Anyway, if we hit X, you can look at the map here and it shows us where the food is in town, hospitals, you know, places to go, like other towns to Tucson. And you can even see our house at the top there. That's pretty neat. Anyway, I'm gonna head down to where Frank is and talk to him, because he'll give us a free heal, and then we're going to do what the uh, cop said in the last episode, and come visit them at the one at police station. I guess they want to reward us for destroying all those enemies in a giant step. It's kind of nice of them, isn't it? So let's see, yeah, right over here's where Frank... Whoop! Oh, the phone's ringing. Hello? Hello, it's your dad. You've been out there for a long time now. <laughs> It'd be none of my business, but don't you think it would be a good idea if you took a break? Uh... No, that's okay, we're gonna keep playing. Ah, I see. Well, it doesn't make me happy, but I understand your point about the fate of the world being at stake. Click, beep. Yeah, that, I'm getting that because I haven't actually physically saved via telephone by calling him. And so he thinks that we're out being a delinquent, when actually I'm just using save states instead of saving via the telephones. It's just a little bit easier. Anyway, we talked to Frank here, he lets us rest for free. You always take advantage of these free rests if you can. It just—it's a great way to save your money. So you don't have to spend thirty bucks or however much it costs to go to the hotel. I guess that guy just says yeah every time you walk past him from now on. Anyway, if we head back, oh, I'm gonna run over by a truck. Jeez. Oh, he ran right through that stop sign too. Did you see that? Is he spawning right there over and over again? Whatever. Anyway, the police station is down here in the southeast corner of town. What's up, dude? So here you are. You're the little delinquent that came back from Giant Step. Now you listen here. Don't enter means just that. Do not enter. You got that? And furthermore, blah, blah, blah. It's usually those tax evaders who blah, blah, blah. We don't enjoy blocking off roads, you know? Blah, blah, blah. It's usually the local whiners that make a big deal out of emergencies and meteorites. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, well, whatever. This guy over here is actually the one we want to talk to. Why is the road to Tucson closed? An emergency, of course. At times like this, kids like you should be playing Nintendo games. Oh, Nintendo, you... Anyway, are you sure you want to go to Tucson? Uh, yeah. Okay, heh, <laughs> follow me. Cool. Is this the way to Tucson? You guys have, like, a secret passage back here? Hmm. Oh, where are we going? Uh, what the hell is this? Show me what you got! See if you can get past five of my best men! Uh, what? Seriously? Yeah! Hey, small fry, you must be shaking in your boots. Yes, you get attacked by a bunch of cops. <laughs> How cool is that? Alright, so let's just bash him away. 
We should be able to take these guys out in two hits. You gotta watch out, they've got a, that basic attack there does like eight damage, and then they have another one that's I think called a crushing chop. That actually can do quite a bit, so you gotta be careful here. Ah, he leaves a hamburger. Nice. That'll actually help us out. It's good to have hamburgers. They're decent healing items early in the game. You're tough, you should join the police force. That's eh, okay, you guys don't seem really cool. Your average policeman is stronger than any superhero. I kinda doubt that, but we'll see. Yeah, the cop attack. And you notice when you finish him off, yeah, with a crushing chop, you see that? 22 damage. We're okay, we got enough health left to go for another round here, finish him off. I think I'm gonna heal the next, the start of the next cop. Because you have to fight four of these guys, and then you fight Captain Strong himself. So, and you don't get any breaks in between either, so there's no way to leave and go heal, come back with items, so make sure you're prepared before you come into this. Um, well actually, you know, I'm gonna go one more attack before I start healing myself. Yeah, crushing chop. We need to go ahead and bring our health back up. So we'll use life up alpha. And max out our HP. What is our max HP anyway? Crap, I shouldn't have... Whatever. Let's we'll bash him and finish him off. Oh, come on! 10 damage. Man. We missed. How'd we miss? The bat we're using shouldn't be one of the items that misses a lot. It just It seems like I have kind of bad luck sometimes. Alright, so that's three of the full cops. Next time I'll take you out with my nuclear suplex attack! Okay. I guess he likes professional wrestling or something. Who knows? Ah, oh, bash away! Cops attacking! Uh, man, if we could get a smash on these guys, that'd be great. Now I'm gonna heal. Whoops, no, 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 not that. Because you want to be at pretty much full health if you can when you uh, take on Captain Strong as the last one. There you go, we'll finish him off. So we're only 10 points below our max health, so we're okay. So we're definitely ready to go after Captain Strong. Oh, we got two hammers out of the deal. That's cool. Yeah, you lost. Lost the game. That's it, buddy. You can forget about me. I'm gonna call my boss. Uh, he's been standing right there the whole time. There's no way I can beat you in a straight competition. So... Get ready for my Super Ultra Memo Tango Foxtrot Martial Arts! Okay. Captain Strong attacked, and I'm just gonna go all out on him. Lost his temper. Yeah, his offense increases when he does that. We'll use PSI Gaming just to... Didn't work! What? What? Does it... Does it never work, or... Did it... Was it just a bum attack? I don't know. I'm gonna bash him instead. Grappled and use a submission hold! Dang, that's actually pretty bad. Ooh. 100 damage. Nice. Let's heal. Whoa, 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 that's not healing. What are you doing? Oh, wow. Yeah, he's actually doing a bit of damage. Holy moly. He's actually using some stuff. Alright, so we gotta let our HP tick back up here. Just be a little bit patient. If, hit, if I hit Bash and then he gets to attack first, he can just smack me and kill me if I'm not careful. So we'll try it one more time. Came out swinging. Yeah, he's pretty tough, so be careful. Don't be afraid to use that healing ability. But yeah, I guess he's only got like 150 HP since we just took him out in one smash and then one normal Bash attack. I didn't think he would do so well against the mighty one at Police Force. You want me to open the road to Tucson? Hang on for a second, I'll radio my staff and give them the word. Strong here, do you read me? Hey, it's me, Captain Strong. Okay, listen, a kid named Ness will be there in a few minutes. He's a kid in a red cap. I want you to open the road to Tucson for him. I know that. I know that! Don't ask me why, just do it. That's an order. Strong out. And he opens the road for us. Well, kid, I'm not going to question you now. But I do want to see you again. Good luck. I'm not sure what he actually wants. I don't think he does anything if we go talk to him. You see this guy over here? What's he do? Hello? Psst! I'm not really one of the gang. I'm a cop. Even if I don't look like it. You don't look like a gang member either. Can I go in here? <laughs> this is a jail! You guys have no business being here. Sorry. I guess the prisoner in there got insulted. Up. He doesn't want a roommate, I guess. Who knows? Okay, so, somebody left me a comment asking me to explain why I'm called Angry Poncho. It's actually from, uh, when I was in middle school. My friends and I decided to create an imaginary band. And uh, it was originally going to be sort of a, not really a salsa band, I don't know what you'd, what you'd call it. It was like a, what's the word for those, like, it's, it's a very Hispanic sort of, it's like a Mexican style, you know, like three guys with guitars and they all, they all sing in harmony and stuff like that. And I can't remember now what, what that's actually called. Come here, butterfly. It's not salsa, it's like, oh, I really wish I could remember what this is called. Holy crap. But yeah, it's one of those style bands, and it's, uh... It's basically just gonna be in a match. Don't talk to the president, what are you doing? 
And we get a hamburger. Nice. How much junk are we carrying right now? Huh, maybe we should go... Oh, mushrooms. Oh boy, let's fight these guys. So we got a new enemy out here. Those black dots I was avoiding earlier were antoids. You encountered the evil rambling mushroom. These guys are can be a pain in the ass. I'm just going to start bashing away. Keep talking. So we decided to create an imaginary band. And since it was going to be this sort of Hispanic salsa kind of style band, we wanted to go with that sort of name. And so we, we named our band the Angry Ponchos. And we actually had, I think, two songs. And our first album was just going to be the entire album was silence. And the title was Jam Packed Full of Nothingness. We had all kinds of inside jokes and stuff about it. It went on for maybe a year or two when we were in middle school. It's like 7th and 8th grade. And, uh, but out of it, you know, became my username when I first started uh, using, I think it was MSN, was the first time I created my account. That, that was Angry Poncho. And then after that, I just started using Angry Poncho for basically anything that I had an account for. It just became my username because I was sort of, something I associated with m myself. Let's see if this works on them. Yeah, okay, cool. Nice at den. These mushrooms can actually inflict a status on what called mushroom mushroomization on you. Thirteen HP up by one. That's that's all. That's the whole level up. Are you serious? That's crap. What? What? Ness is not pleased. Ah. Anyway, look at all the mushrooms. Dang. Hello. Yeah, there's a bunch of mushrooms between here and Tucson, so just watch out. Yeah, Ness began to feel strange. Who knows what he's gonna do when that happens? Alright, mushroomization. We should walk back to one end so I can get this removed and fix and show you guys what it actually does. You get this little mushroom on your head. It makes your controls go all wonky after a little while. Right now I'm just pushing up and I'm walking up. But very shortly it should switch them around. So if I push up I'll actually go left or right or something instead. And it keeps swapping them around over time too. So it can get kind of annoying. Right now they're actually normal and it's just by luck. But if I wait long enough, they'll actually start swapping around, so I might just leave it in my head and talk to you guys for a little bit. What does this say? Bush Hospital. The best hospital care in one at. We put our life into operating on you. But yeah, there's some stuff to do out. Oh, they just switched. Okay, yeah, now I'm pushing down and I'm walking to the side, so... Ugh. It's gonna be a pain. There's somebody out here we can talk to. He plays some music for us, I think. How you doing? I must be the happiest man in the world. I can practice my trumpet in this scenic spot. I'll send my haunting melody throughout the town. He's actually not bad. I thought there was a present or two out here. Oh, that's hard. Can't figure out which way I'm going here. <laughs> you guys just keep pushing directions until you walk the direction that you want, and then you just use the arrow keys like around them to turn yourself. It can be tricky. Crap. Keep like, oh goodness, they just swapped again. <sighs> they might not believe it. I'm a healer. If you have some illness that cannot be treated at the hospital, it's my job to cure you. Hey, now that I notice, could you summon the mushroom growing on top of your head? Come on, let's make a deal. Sure, you sell it to him. He gives you 50 bucks, and he removes the status element from you. Whoops, no, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Thank you. Wait, did you say he could soften us? Ugh. What? Does that, like... I guess that fixes diamondization, but... That's still kind of a weird way to phrase it. <laughs> so, yeah, and that's where the angry poncho came from. After a while, I was really the only one who really remembered it or talked about it. And I wrote all the songs, so... I was I kind of was, like, the leader of the band. I guess, just, I guess I would have been the lead singer if it had been an actual band. <laughs> uh, but yeah. And then we had a friend of mine who, who his entire job in the band was just to repeat the last word of every line that we sang. About like half a second after we said it. It's just like, that's all he did. All the time. That was his job. <laughs> it's just like, okay, cool. I see, there's somebody to talk to here, isn't there? Oh, maybe not. Anyway, we're, this is Tucson. So welcome to Tucson Town. Awesome. No problem here. Oh, can I talk to it? <laughs> talk to the sign. Awesome. Check a Rooney. Tucson. We got this name because we weren't first. Oh, that sucks. Second best, man. Alright, so in the next episode, we're going to head down to the Berglund Park and chill around there. But yeah. I guess that's pretty much all there really is to say about how I became Angry Poncho. I just created the the, uh, uh, the account on, this, on YouTube in 2007 because I, uh... I just want, I needed to have a YouTube account so I could favorite videos and like videos and stuff like that. Leave comments, that sort of thing. And, uh, I just decided that I'd make it the same as my email, and so I just said, oh, I'm gonna be Angry Poncho. I never planned to be an LP -er on this channel. I just was a YouTuber and just watched videos and stuff, and then... Actually, a little bit over... I guess I'd say about 14 months ago, 
14 to 15 months ago, I started LPing. And, uh, the rest is history. <laughs> it's been fun. Anyway, I think I'm about to run out of time here, so I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Earthbound, when we will talk to some of these, all of these people here, and then there's another boss over here to fight soon. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, so I'll see you guys later, when we will uh, explore Tucson Town. See you then.